Sean Andrews back with you at Steep Pony Mazda. Mazda Monday. This is my last test drive. We did the CX-5 last time. An incredible car, great features, but I'm thinking I might maybe need something bigger. Third row of seating in the Mazda CX-9. We're going to check it out right now. So this is the 2018 Mazda CX-9 Signature all-wheel drive. Signature? Yeah. Ooh. Premium leather, rosewood inlays. This thing is gorgeous. Inside and out. If it wasn't a hot July day, I think I'd be drooling. Yeah. Let's take her for a spin. Let's do it. Oh, before we go, I actually remembered for once that we have a moonroof, so we are going to enjoy some extra sunshine on this beautiful July day. Yeah. Now, I can't put my finger on it, but this feels different already from driving the CX-5. Tell me a little bit about the CX-9 here. So this has got a slightly di different engine than what is in the CX-5. So this is a 2.5 liter turbo engine, so it gives you a little bit more power. So the thing is, you don't want a big, oafy vehicle that can't move. This has got an engine that meets the requirements of the car so that it actually feels like you're moving and you're not standing still. There. You mentioned heated steering wheel before. How do I do that? A little click of the button right there. Oh, okay. Simple as that. So on these cold winter nights, oh, I can feel it already. So and on these quick. cold winter nights that we do have in mornings in central New York, they'll make a huge difference. You know, yeah. you scrape and then you come out and oh. So I got a little confused about it in one of the previous test drives. You said there's like a radar system in here or something? Yeah, so it's called Mazda Radar Cruise Control. Okay. And the way it works, it's very similar to your standard cruise with one huge difference. So you're gonna press your mode and you're gonna press set. When you press set, it's actually gonna have a defined distance. It's gonna follow the next car in front of you by. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your speedometer, say yeah. Oh, I love I love when it sets to, and you can actually see what mile per hour it's Yeah. At. Like we're set at 29 miles per hour right now. It tells you 29. So what's gonna happen is, let's say you're on the highway, you set the cruise at 55 miles per hour, but you come up on someone that's only going 45 miles per hour. It's actually gonna slow down so that you match their speed in front of them and follow at a set distance. And you can change that distance by which you follow. Okay. So if they turn off the highway, or if you turn into an open lane, it's gonna bring you back up to your set speed again. So I don't have to like do the brain calculations of, okay, now I need to turn the cruise control off or I have to hit the brake. The car will take care of it for me? All of it. It'll actually bring you to a complete stop, so long as it's not a, like a pounding, yeah. screeching up. It's actually gonna be able to bring you to a complete stop as well. So once again, Mazda not only making you safer in the car, but taking little things like that off your mind so you can just concentrate on being safe on the road. Yeah, and this has all those features we've mentioned in the, a lot of the other vehicles. So it's still got those rain sensing wipers, it's still got those auto headlights and auto high beams. So all these things are just taking away the distractions of the outside world and letting you focus on the road and driving. So what are the lights like in here? I, you're, you're running me down that like the lights move? They do. So as you're turning the steering wheel, it's got adaptive headlights. So it's actually going to turn to match the steering wheel. So, so you know, you're, you're doing a nice bend curve and the lights are going to follow with you? Yeah. So it's going to light the path up in front of you. So normally, you know, you... Yeah, the you light, normally like the lights spot. are transfixed in front of you. Yeah. So it's going to completely follow the... Wow. Well, and plus they're LED lights too, so they're incredibly piercing and it's incredibly bright too. So you're going to get, you got better, brighter lights and you've got adaptive lights that are allowing you to see better around turns and corners. Okay, so let's throw this bad boy in reverse and see what we got here. Oh wait, that's different. What's that? So you've got a whole suite of technology with a backup camera. you got sensors that are letting you know if there's something that you can't quite see or letting you know when you're starting to get close to things. So you, it'll give you an audible warning letting you know when you're about to collide or something. But then in addition to that, it's like kind of, stop, sort of like that, okay. more, of a, more of a nice beeping. Oh, noise. okay. Th yeah. th that probably is more calming and reassuring than stop. So startling, but I mean, it, it could work. <laughs> it would work. And there's oh, your cross see? track monitors. So what it's doing is it's picking up people coming off at a right angle to you. So that if you're in that Walmart parking lot where someone's speeding too fast, it'll let you know when they're coming up on you. So you know what it's on. Very nice. And there's that nice beeping I was talking about too. It's almost much, cheerful. Much calmer than the stop. I think Mazda made the good choice going with the beep instead of stop. 
I don't know. You never know. Maybe they'll have your voice later on. I mean, we'll see it in further iterations. That could be. That could you never be. Know. That could be a big deal right there. So you said not only does it have the the climate zone controls back here, but this is like the same thing. It is totally digital. It's like the mirroring the control panel up front here and back for the rear passengers. Yeah, and you see so here the seat controls up there too, and all the other climate controls. Now, the CX9 has another row of seats back here. Absolutely. How do we get? Oh, what? as I'm being. Ooh, that's got some. I USB mean, easily distract and. There are ports back here too. Yeah, you got two up there and you got two up front too. So devices can be charged, you know, not running the cord all the way back here and like my son can only hold the tablet right here. Again, these are the little things that Mazda thinks of that makes the car ride that much more enjoyable for all members of the family. Right. Well, get to the back seat, it's simple too. All you gotta do, pull this little lever right here. It's gonna pull, pull it and slide forward. Up and in. Yeah, I'm gonna come over there and try it myself. So I can just use this whole motion right here. Yes. So that's gonna flop it forward. And then, oh, that makes it even easier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And now I'm gonna hop back into the rear row. And can you put the seats back? Absolutely. This is not bad at all. For, for a rear seat, with me being almost six feet, it's still quite comfortable. And my co-pilot over here or whatnot, they've got their own drink holders, whatever, and... Yeah, because you know the kids don't want to share. No, they don't. They don't want to share. So literally, when the, when the out-of-town family is here, we can all go in one vehicle together. Yeah. Wow, this is very, very nice. Should I let you out? I guess. I guess I can't stay in here all day. Okay, so how do we get the seats down? Just a little button, just like before. On the yep. other, oh, I nice. love that. Okay, so I, I gotta go grocery shopping. I don't need these seats right now. What do I do? All you gotta do, you're gonna take this little lever, you're gonna push it down. Do you feel a click? Just click and push? Click and push. Oh my god, that could not be any easier. So now pull it back up and see how easy it comes up, too. Just like that, boom! I did the seats all by myself. There you go. It's that simple. And now I get to close it again. I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it does. It's awesome. I just can't get over everything that this offers for, you know, not only me, the driver, but for my family. I I can't see myself driving anything else. This yeah. is it, Shane. Thank you so much. Sounds great. I did it! Thanks to Shane, I've got my brand new Mazda, and you can get one too. Steep Pony Mazda on Commercial Drive. Come on down here, check it out. You will not be sorry.